Hey, you still alive? Barely. Not alive? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not immediately obvious. I think this is like the last time we'll, like Marvin will be here talking with her. The f no, it's actually the se for second and last. Yeah, we also, got one more part with him. as you can see, she declares in her regular outfit here is because the RE engine, uh, for some reason, what Capcom does is if you're watching anything on a screen in the Thanks. RE engine, it is literally just a fucking MP4 file. Well, I think that's like, the best way to handle compression. That way you don't have to render fair. two areas that, at once. And given, given the time fair. frame this game takes place in, honestly, it, it seems it, it makes some amount of sense. It's just, <laughs> yeah, you still gotta also take into account that well, what they're wearing on them won't reflect Here the I was game. like, should I? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, you should probably go ahead and check up on Claire. Meanwhile, Marvin just mumbled himself, I gotta give me a footstool for this thing. Yeah. And, and I what, I like, would, what I wouldn't give right now for a, for a Q36 explosive sp space modulator. I think that would take out a lot more than the zombies. <laughs> Grab them. I mean, to be yeah. fair, that's essentially... You know what? He gets his wish in RA3. Too bad he's he isn't around to see it. He's just watching stuff go around. He's... I was trying to figure out where to go, and I was like, should I go to Claire? Nah, I should go the other way. Oh, yeah, to, the, li to the library. Yep. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the library. Meanwhile, in the back, I just remember going, there's supposed to be an earth. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, ma'am. This is a library. We're working on it. That's a good zombie voice. Okay, let's get out of here. Ouch. Oh, no. um, and now I am also doing something for later. Yeah, good call, because uh, because if you don't do this now, oh. that could be a problem later. I, I, I Can zombies climb hear... ladders? No. Uh, I not good. Some... One guy can, but not them. Somebody went like, ah, like, as I almost getting the zombie getting me. Like, that was just... Uh. So that ladders. Um, ladders are our last defense against the zombie menace. Apparently. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, hey, you know what? I mean, depending on the kind of ladder, you could also they could be used not just to get away from them, you could also batter them, batter, batter them with it too. Yep. And... Also, I oh the next statue. So yeah, I go in here, get the next statue, also get the second floor map. Ooh. Uh. But I also kind of accidentally fuck up in this one. Because you forgot to you forgot to get the uh, thing. No. No, it's no, the fact I that he. Get... I think. I think he kill. Oh no, no, he has enough space to get them. No, I I'll show on. you what. I'll show you what. What I mean. Okay. So, Two fishes, this? scorpion, bucket of water. Pray to God you don't have poor eyesight when walking uh, like this. You wear my power. Yeah, especially in the B scenario because they really make you like work to try and figure out what's going on. Bucket of water. Which all but, those combinations are the same, so you can just look up. Well, I mean, do you but think yeah. they have? Unfortunately, think... my mistake is getting two zombies trapped in here. I mean, you and you're not here. You're not here that often, so there, it's there, the worst he, thing in the world. He, he will be trying to use that room as a shortcut later, and he's gonna have to deal with uh, some very tight yep. uh, coordination. Yep. If we don't and unfortunately, right. during those t during one of those times, we have a a. Person, a stalker following us during that time. So. But that stalker will elaborate on later when he's actually here and yeah. stalking us. For I'll now, it looks. Model. For now, that book, uh, right away, just give me the breadcrumbs. Is that book is the same book we saw that nice figure James saw in the photo in the photograph holding? But uh, yeah. we're gonna find out later. He's also missing something else. So we yeah, find yeah. The and other unfortunately, object. I was kind of an idiot. So you'll see. Actually, a lot of times I will admit in this game I was a fucking idiot. You should have. Practiced. Honestly, it's honestly it's funny too because I that whole... did. That's oh, okay. the problem. I mean, to be fair, I figured it was all... figured you only did it immediately just because also, it's welcome to Raccoon City. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, well, we'll read that in a little bit, James. Finish your thought. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, that whole thing with the statue. Um, technically, you can actually clear out that puzzle. Damn near immediately if you know what you're doing. Even though by technicality, you're not going to need that thing till much later. Yeah. Yep. It's one of those things where they expect where they. I mean, you can do it if you want to, but if you if you're speed running, you probably shouldn't waste the time. Mm -hmm. Probably oh. not. Uh, yep. Because yeah, again, Umbrella, or Umbrella Corp apparently owns an orphanage. I'm sure that's not weird at all. And as that thing uh, mentioned, <laughs> and as that thing mentioned, yes, as I pointed out in the first part, the rac the reason why everything looks so weird and has all these weird puzzles also, to it is because. The uh, Raccoon City Police Department was actually a... Also, really quick. Mm -hmm. This game decides to tell us now that we can discard items. Well, because... Well, because ne and basically not... The game... It didn't tell us earlier when we had the other key from the gas station. 
I think it's think because Je- I think it's generally because there was another door you could have unlocked with it. No, there Maybe. wasn't. No, yeah. the red mark means that literally you cannot use it on anything anymore. else. And oh, oh, and I we mean, had that mark on the key. That is definitely yeah. one thing I'll say against the remake. I don't see what the point of, was of getting rid of that whole time honor staple. Like once you used up used up for the last time, the game will just ask you, "Do you want to discard it?" Instead of just making you do that, your shit yourself. Oh, also, uh, in case Matt didn't already mention it, when we mentioned up the, when we mentioned the lockers, the safe combinations also never change. And for time, he and I will be using a guide to just unlock those right away. Also, just again, look at the leather on those seats. You, it, they look like you could actually sit on them. Yep. <laughs> now, whether you'll be you'll be willing to sit sit on those seats for an extended amount, a period of time is another oh story. My God. Also, I this... like to note. Uh, I'll I'll point it out in a second. Uh, the room we were just in was the waiting room. Why the waiting room is on the second fucking floor is beyond it's, me. It's a waiting room for if you're going to be meeting with the admin and stuff who live who work on this side, such as Chief Irons. Also, I'm so, I just love to imagine Marvin is sitting there barricading a door, going, "Leon, we don't got we don't we don't have much time. We have to get out of this police station right now." And Leon's just sitting there leaning, going, "Dude, these this furniture." right here Fuck this you. furniture right I here this is this leather you. this is I high this quality game leather looks amazing oh it's Fuck the r-engine you. it's a, it's amazing no i was just making the joke of like imagining the prioritization of like admiring like marvin dude dude look, look at this couch man <laughs> yes yes i know it's persian leather now come on persian come on now leather. leon is, and they just Le- put, <laughs> leon is freaking leon is freaking uh what's the word um oh hey is now the right time for talking about the furniture? Or I was gonna say it's like it. Are you that? Are you that? Are you literally that tired from the job already? Ah. Also, okay. So that's why we need the book. But more importantly, Mac got himself a locker card. Yep. Get the yeah. book. And we put the red book. And unfortunately, I decide, oh, I'll leave the red book. And I'm like, fuck. Well, I, well, you you never know what you're gonna be finding around here. You could be finding good healing items. Like if you find a single blue orb, bam, you're set. And then so on and so forth. You get the idea. Also, I do appreciate that for the sake of this game, certain items do stack like the wood, like the wooden barricades. Which, However, which when you really think about it, those things should those should, those things should not be fitting so perfectly inside Leon's pockets. It's like those stack, but yeah. not the knife. Yeah, Apparently. not the knife. Which, speaking of, I am surprised that you're bringing both knives with you. But uh, anyway, uh, oh, well, I I know I I was like I shouldn't. Have. <laughs> you know, well, he, hey, you know, he wanted to dual wield. So while which is not a thing in this game, which is kind of a shame. So while we're doing this uh, hype, have you ever? Would you play? I'm I'm, I'm asking you just I'll, I'll, like just theoretically here, hype. Would you play a Scooby Doo game like with the camera set up like this? <laughs> Over the, like behind the back, walking around a, a, a spooky mansion, but just it's Scooby Doo. I feel like it probably wouldn't be too far removed because there technically was a Scooby Doo game kind of modeled after a classic Resident Evil game called Classic Creep Capers. Oh, right, we right. Had, the one we did a look at of a while back. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it's also... just a matter of if WB even wants to make another Scooby Doo game, which honestly I feel like. In this day and age, since we're all, like, revival remake happy, I kind of would like to see them do something akin to what Rehydrated did and, like, give us a remake of Nine of 100 Frights. Which, you know, funny coincidence, considering that was also developed by Heavy Iron Studios. It was indeed. Hmm. Well, no. Though, you, and you know what? I mean, I wouldn't put it past... I wouldn't, you know, say no to Purple Lamp taking on that kind of project again. Uh, the provided that they learned from the mistakes they did and rehydrated. Well, the mistakes were mostly... Some of it wasn't even really their fault, considering that they rushed. They had to rush that game out just to meet the release date of a movie that got delayed. Okay, that is fair. And and yes. also, they did they did listen to, to um, you know, user feedback, and, you know, if you were to get the PC version of the game, it literally is just a better game overall than the original. Yeah. That's good. Oh! Uh, I, guess, I suppose it's worth noting that uh, actually, uh, also kind of similar to you know how it was in the original and RE1 um, in Resident Evil 2 uh, there is actually a random chance that a headshot will actually be critical enough damage to just pop it instantly and kill the zombie for good Yeah, it, but that's like that's like the exception rather than the rule Yeah, it's super freaking rare. I wish there was some 
I wish there was some method of madness to it. Like something where like, oh, maybe if you time your shot just as the zombie's about to get near you, you do like a, you know, basically the equivalent of a parry or a counter, and that's what guarantees the headshot explosion, but... No, eh. it's a random factor, unfortunately. Now then, how about we give this guy a hand? And a book. And a book. Do. Yes. But in return, we take his scepter. Now you shall the rule of, the ruby. And amazingly, the laws of physics just decided to go no right there, and the thing didn't fall on the floor. Well, yeah, there was like an the, indent there. Well, no, no, not just no. The top of it is so much heavier, though. It would have like leaned and flailed out. But yeah, well, but there's a, there's a reason for that because we just need oh. the ruby. What uh, would be what? Which in the original game, if you examined it, I think it's, it's also the case here. It's called the Virgin Heart. Oh, that's yeah, right. Like, yeah, there was also that uh, pamphlet that we read. Also, about it, I yeah. unfortunately did something here, so I wanted to show off. By the way, why is the waiting room on the second floor? And just I did that. Yeah. Uh, if you kept <laughs> that is on Mr. Mr. Fucking Mr. line of thought. If, you just, if you, you just, kept you just on running. Go ahead. If you kept on running through this hallway. The helicopter crashing would have actually stunned you. Right, Ooh. but 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 as for here, as for here, the joke I was about to say was, Doctor Johnson will see you now. <laughs> he just arrived. By the way, uh, yeah. Dr. Johnson? May maybe, uh, help that guy out of the helicopter? He uh, doesn't look like, yeah, he doesn't look like he's, Claire, you know, got much, he, of, much on, left in him. Right he's not potentially romantic, he's not, he's not potentially romanceable. Come on, Claire. Uh, oh, okay. I, I mean, guess, he's already, the dude's already on fire. <laughs> now he's dead. This, Claire. this cops is on fire! <laughs> By the way, uh, I hope that's not. I hope that's uh, not. I hope that's not dry clean. Uh, dry clean, Leon. Yeah, not in this weather. Also, don't mind these two. You know, making casual jokes about the death of a helicopter man. Like they, they just totally glossed over that completely. I mean, the dude's already. I mean, the dude's already dead. Chemistry. Also, Yay. I liked. Also, uh, this cutscene is actually where Scenario B comes I'm into sure play. We'll right. Lucky yeah. enough. Well, well, Weird it's romance. it helps for it helps considering you know uh, a scenario B is supposed to be an abridgment of our scenario A. Yeah. Weird Fair. romance. No, it, it's weird science. I'm making the joke. Don't I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was weird. I, th I thought it was a weird platonic relationship. Weird bloodline. Weird science. Well. Also, I think this whole the whole dialogue is different if you decide to do scenario one with Claire instead. But then I, I think so. Yeah, because it leads up. Yeah, because again, like, because yeah, because basically what's happening with Scenario B is it, whenever it gets a chance to, it tries to use the dialogue that was present in Scenario A. Right. Also, I do love that this game actually used the fucking word zombies. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it, I, it, like, it was still right around Resident Evil's time where zombie wasn't really a taboo word to use to describe your game. But I never did understand that in zombie media, like, dead and things where like it, it always happens in a world that apparently never had zombie movies never had zombie tv shows hello sir uh never had any sort of a uh, zombie marketing like it always so that's why it, nobody knows how to deal with them and nobody refers to them as zombies that's dead rising they, dead rising absolutely was like yeah they're zombies yeah i i just absolutely hate the fact that like the game decided oh uh yeah uh, for Wait, some it's not reason, one, not. Like, should barricade uh, that the, window, man. I know, I fuck up here and I don't do that. You don't do that twice. Shut up. This there no. are two windows in Shut here. Count the them with me, up. children. Anyway, here's high grade gunpowder. I'm going to make more shotgun shells. Fuck you. That's fine. You do that. You and your you know, close up. Shut oh, up. Sorry, I, I'll admit, I'm, I, I'm genuinely, I'm kind of being a little passive aggressive because I've been kind of ticked off at my folks. We're like, we've been having like family related parties here multiple times. Oh, awesome. That can help us open the door from the other side fully. Also. Um, but uh, we've been having, excuse me, we've been having parties at my house just because, you know, relatives, we have a pool and everything, but it's been like this and I'm not against the parties. I'm against the fact that Whenever people show up, they always like, they always use the the back the the back door, but they forget to close it or use the screen door immediately afterwards. So I'm the one who ends up with mosquitoes all over the place. Whoa. Also, thankfully, the shotguns are almost just a complete like 
Oh, uh, insta kill. So oh, and I also, like I bl oh, and I believe also this game uh, with its engine gives us uh, a dodge kind of maneuver, or is that not not until no. three, not until not three, not until three. Okay, three, darn. Because that is a good maneuver to learn later. But anyway, we gotta Marvin? go check on Marv. Marv. Hey, Marv. Still, alive. Still alive. Okay. Just Still alive here. Is You're it? Dampened. Don't worry. It's... I'm only the second one. You it's... still have four more. It's messed up, Matt. But it's messed if... up. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm. No, hear me out. What I'm about to say is messed up. Is knowing what we do now. If we actually decide to put him out of his misery right now, can that actually prevent it, or will the game refuse to let us? The game him? refuses. Okay. I mean, I'm sure Leon wouldn't have the heart to do that. Yeah, fair. Much. Also, yeah, not until not until it's too late, of course. All right, so now we're gonna pick this up. Uh, also, as you're noticing here, uh, you know, true to fashion, we have defense items. Flash yep. uh, te te technically, technically, the knife is one of them, but the flash grenade is our second one. Which. Very, very useful if, uh, similar to as we used in RE1, if you can shove it into a zombie's mouth and then pop him, fun stuff happens. Although, say if you decide, decide to use it in a, as an actual, like, sub whoop and toss it, toss it at a ray of zombies, well, the most I'll say is, why would you do that? Yeah, like, you know, just, 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 be, this game rewards, like, smart and strategic movement like if you like i want i generally think that in most cases there are a lot of times where you don't even have to shoot a gun just be good at maneuvering around them uh right hey, hmm? how are things going before we all sign off uh nothing to really talk about to be honest okay we're gonna we're gonna work on that i'm gonna get you i'm gonna I'm, lord have lord have mercy i'm gonna find you something talk to talk eventually. about i just didn't want to interrupt you guys is all well, but but okay, that fine, that's fair. Uh, join us in the next part as Matt's gonna find that last medallion, and we're actually gonna get out of this darn place. Yep. Next All part. Right. Alrighty. Take Why care. don't I believe you? <laughs>